Hey there, Shadow Buggers. I am Blunty. Welcome to this Uwa episode of DigiDirect TV. Uwa, uh, ultra wide angle. Uh, just in case you were confused. <laughs> that is Olympus's new ultra wide angle zoom lens. 7014mm focal length range, f2.8, constant aperture, clutchable focus ring. Pop, pop. Love that. Just, uh, look, let me get a close up of that. Just, pop. Manual focus. Pop. Automatic focus and fly-by-wire focus. Pop, manual focus with start stops at the end. Pop, back to the regular mode. And big, wide, just just a zoom ring there. And so comfortable. And the lens button there. And, and just ooh, the built-in petal hood. And it's very exciting and lovely. And it's a pro series lens. So it's built really tough. Anyway, I'm going to calm myself down. Because uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm really excited about this lens. Because, you know, even before I show you anything from it, I'm going to tell you right now, it's really, really good lens. That, that's the end result of the day. If you've got a very short attention span, all you want to know is, is it good? Yeah, it's good. Let me show you why. The M Zuko Pro 7 to 14 mm f2.8 lens is a very tasty beastie. I'll get that right off the bat straight away. Olympus lean heavily on its compact size and its light weight as a selling point in their marketing materials. It's around half the weight of an equivalent lens for one of the popular DSLR bodies. Combine that with the space and weight savings you're already getting with the Micro Four Third mirrorless system's bodies, and it can make a huge difference to your shooting life out in the world. And while this lens is certainly lighter than some other similar lenses and other systems, it's not what I'd call a light lens. It has a very satisfying solid heft to it as a matter of fact, which speaks to its pro-level build quality. Olympus are also quite proud of its constant f2.8 aperture, claiming it makes it an ideal lens for shooting nightscapes. So that's what I spent most of my time with it doing, paired up with the new Pen F camera body by the way. If you haven't seen those videos, I've just popped up two other videos all about it. But in this video, we're focusing on the lens. So, aside from the superb build quality, the other major selling point of the MZUGO Pro line of lenses is the weather resistance. Dust proof, splash proof, and freeze proof. It's built for a very tough life of the serious adventuring hobbyist and professional shooter. It's got a nice close minimum focusing distance too of a mere 7.5 centimeters from the front element and the fantastic clutched manual focus ring make for an exceptionally pleasant shooting experience. I said it when I first got the Olympus 12 millimeter. I've said it with every lens that has the feature since and I'll say it again now. The ability to pop that focus ring back and get a proper manual focusing experience with hard stops at either end instead of the fly-by wire endlessly spinning manual focus experience is something I want on every last lens I use. It is wonderful. And on the subject of manual focusing on this lens, I found it just a little bit on the stiff side, actually. Perhaps with some time it'll relax slightly, but it is still pretty decent. The autofocus is nippy and very quiet. Good news for video shooters, of course, but frankly, I enjoyed the manual focus so much, I spent most of my time there. Point light sources flare kind of wonderfully dramatically at the widest end and become a little more subdued at the longer end. Whether or not you like this is a personal thing, but I do like it. And Olympus are right, that constant f2.8 does indeed make this ultra-wide angle a joy in the dark. And I love shooting with ultra-wides, but sadly many of them are indeed just a tad on the slow side for the twilight hours, and f2.8 sits just at the tip of that really sweet spot. It's enough to make handheld small AM photo walks a wonderful thing, and while I may dream of smashing through to f2 or faster, fact is that would likely make the lens obnoxiously expensive and much heavier anyway. And f2.8, even on a very wide-angle lens, is enough to still be able to drop the background out of focus nicely with close-up subjects. The clarity, crispness, detail, and overall sharpness are nothing less than superb on this lens. And like all ultra-wides, the corners do get a bit soft, but really only a few pixel peep for it. And there's no sign at all of the ugly stuff like chromatic aberrations and ghosting. And while Olympus boasts about the size and weight, it has to be said the Panasonic equivalent lens is indeed smaller still, but it's also much slower at f4. And the build quality of the Olympus, alongside the splash, dust and freeze proofing and that wonderful manual focus feature all add up to what I would happily call the very best ultra-wide angle lens the Micro Four Thirds system has. And indeed, in its own right, as an ultra-wide zoom lens on any system, it still stands tall as a superb example of the breed. The lens gets a big thumbs up from me. Boom, there you go. You saw for yourself. Time for you to tell me what you thought about it. But that is your lot for these three episodes of Olympus Focus DigiDirect TV. What do you want to see next? Drop a comment. Let me know. I haven't made a decision yet. 